Hunts and Hunts today, back at the boot fairs, and it's Bank Holiday Monday, so not anticipating too much today. Most Bank Holiday Mondays are quite quiet, so about to hit up the first boot fair now, and let's see what we can find. <laughs> really? Yeah. You alright? Ooh, let's move on. No, no, well, that's what I mean. That, that's what I've got left. Yeah. Yeah. I make use of you. How much? No, no. How much on that? 50p. 50p? Yeah, well then, sod it. How much pounds? Pound? Is that a pound as well? Yes. Uh, I'll take this one. Yep. What chair? I'm a cripple, you can get up. Use your bacon eggs, give the old man a rest. Oh, some PS1 games here as well. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see those. Not much here though, is there? You did get a little one. <laughs> how much on the... Is yours, yours still? Yes, my how, how much are these? Okay, so... This is a five pound, and this yeah. one's five pound. Okay. The others are all pound. All the others are a pound, yeah? Yes, yeah. all the others are a pound. These ones, two pound for the manual, pound if they're not. Gotcha. Uh, if it's nice condition for a quick, let's get it. Yeah, I'll take those two. Pound each, yeah? Yeah, man. Oh, no way. You've got the power to mix it, fix it, choose who you are. It's called Gold Power. How much? Two quid. Oh, sweet. Any more? Have you got any more? No, oh. they're all uh, All been pilfered oh. already, have they? Huh? Oh, mate. All right, mate. Thank Good. you. How much are the games, Danny, mate? Yeah, two quid. Oh, two quid. Two pounds, yeah? Yeah. We'll just check, make sure they're in here, the games. Yep, yep, yep. We're leaving down there. Yes, mate, leave yeah. there, just leave yeah. there, mate. I've got some more later. Uh, nah, nothing for me there. How much are the other games, mate? Or are they all in the division price store? Huh? Eh? Different. How much is that one? They're five. Five? Well, all, all the PSP? Yeah. How much is that one? How much is that? DVDs are 10p. 10p? Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely have that. Yeah. Are, you, are those games back there for sale? They are, yeah. How much are they? Oh, they vary depending on the game. So how much is the Minecraft? What was the Minecraft? Oh, you got, you got, you got a list. You're looking at 15 for the Minecraft. Clonoa? Still sells at 22. And Clona is, you're probably looking at 10 tenner because it's still selling at 18. Okay. Uh, do it for eight? Yeah, go on. Yeah? Eight, yeah? Okay. Uh, how much are the rest of them as well? Might as well get the prices for the rest of them. Right, so that was eight. Yep. 
That one still sells at 15, so I'll, I can do that for an eight. Okay. That one sells at 12, so I can do that for five. That one. Do that for a fiver, and then do that one. Do more for 30? Not that one. 30 for them? I was trying to put my head, it's about 33, you said. You're over 10, aren't you? Yeah. 30? Sweet. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How much bar are you going to get out of curiosity? Or you're not selling that. Yeah. <laughs> we should check they're all there. Thank <laughs> you. Awesome, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Right, we're at breakfast number two now, still with Ben. And uh, it's literally just opened. Uh, we're a little bit late, we're literally like a minute late. So yeah, let's go in, see what we can find. Oh wow, straight away. No game, no. They've got the box alone. I'll let you go through that. How much on the little iPod? How much? Right. Four quid? Yeah. Four quid? Does it work? No. Yeah. Just don't have a charger. Actually, I've got one in the car if you want to turn it on. Uh, if you can try and turn it on, if it, if it turns on, then yeah, I'll have it for four quid. How much on the game as well? Yeah, as long as that works, yeah, I'll win both. Load of games around here. Yeah. 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 Float the green card. Yeah? How much are you games, mate? I'm one 50p. 50p? <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. Open sword. Peach is good. Let me get that one. Let's see if we can make the Robin. Dirty, dirty. Right, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven. So 350, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okay. 50p each. Are they 50p as well? Yeah. One. Got the reanimation again. How much is that? 15. 15 as well. I'm not buying any more Funko Pops, man. I'm just done. I'm done with them. So, 10 are all together? Yep. Yeah, perfect. Uh, you want the bag or are you right? No, that's all right. I might just make it up to a five, you know. I'll get a couple more. So that's four. Uh, there must be a couple more here. Yeah, I know. I'll just try enough at night. What's that? And then one on. more. There must be a party. Nah. I'll find me for free. Oh, I'll pick all the ones. Okay, sweet. Okay, I've got another three. Make it a five, yeah? Oh, yeah. That's quite cool. No games though. Yeah, he's got all the games. In the attic. No good in the attic. That's pretty cool. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. £45 a set. Those are £25. I'm good, thank you. Games How much on the games here? PS4 or um, Fiverr. How much in your Wii games? A couple of quid. Right, we're at boot fair number three now. And uh, boot fair number two is a bit small, but I actually did find some good stuff. So yes, yeah, see if we can find it. Huh? Pokemon the Axie. Unique. Cool stuff, though. One pound each. 
Oh. What's that? No, it's not worth anything, trust me. Fine. How much are you, Amos? Uh, 50p. 50p. Uh. Yeah, I'll take both of them. Okay. How much on the camera? Or is uh, that with that? 40. 40. How much on the Skylanders? Yeah, can I have a look through? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Look at that. Pan. Game for sale as well. How much for the game? That goes with it. Uh, I'll, I'll take the game for pound. Pound, okay. So one, 150, 250, no, two pound, 250. I was going to make it three, I've got 250 actually. And change. There's two. Cheers. And 50. Thank you very much. How much in your games? Two pounds each. I have one seventy, my friend. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And we're back. So just got back from the boot fairs, and yeah, today we managed to go to three different boot fairs, which is like probably the most amount of boot fairs I've been to in one day for. Oh, over a year now honestly we normally just do two and be done with it but yeah we did three today obviously today being bank holiday um there was a lot less sellers than there normally would be on like a sunday car boot and that's just always the way it's been like over like the last you know six seven years i've been going to the boot fairs really consistently bank holiday mondays have always kind of been the choir out of the sunday and the monday days However, we managed to get some really, really cool stuff today. Um, I'll go through it in chronological order as I've got it. I'll try anyway, and um, yeah, we'll see how we go. So, from the first boot fair, something quite interesting happened um, probably just before we were about to leave, actually. Um, when I initially got there, there was, um, there was a lady who had a PlayStation 5 in her car, and she had loads of games with it, and I overheard people saying that she wanted 600 pounds for it so i just kind of walked on kind of ignored it and carried on with the hunt went back there later and i saw that she still had it and she said she had a, a pile of games i just asked her politely whether the games were for sale so she got them out and we did a little count up and we come with 30 pounds but i know there was a few other people at that booth here that wanted those games but i just asked her you know just asked her politely and you know she we made a deal so let's go through those games now and yeah, some of them are really good value. So we've got Minecraft um, Jewel Edition. So it's got like, you can use both. And it's traded for £20. So that covers like most of the, what I just paid for it anyway. So that's really cool. Now all the rest are PS5 games. So we've got Klonoa on PS5. Obviously one of the rarest games on the PlayStation 1. Uh, we've got Worms Rumble on the PlayStation 5. Uh, we have Nerf Legends also on the PlayStation 5. And then we have Riders Republic. Now, all of those was £30. So I think that is an unbelievable deal. So thank you so much if you're watching for sort of me at that. Really do appreciate it. So uh, also from the first boot here, we've got a bunch of other like foddery games. Uh, we've got Dual Quest Mysteries. That was a pound, 3DS. We've got PGA European Tour Golf on PS1. That was 50p. Uh, we've got PGA Tour um, PlayStation Platinum game. Uh, that was 50p as well. Uh, we've got a DVD Little Women. Or little woman that was 10p uh we've got a blu-ray here life of brian that's also 10p this uh trades in for 150 i think uh we've got another ps4 game here the persistence that was two pounds and we've got a wii game here which was i believe 50p that's a must be musical uh so i think it's most of the things from the first booth there let's go to the second booth there now now there was a gentleman there who had loads of playstation 2 games they're all 50p each so i managed to get quite a few of it so let's go through some of them now um we've got final fantasy x2 on ps2 
we've got Hurdy Gurdy piercing. Remember, all these are 50p each. Got Worms Forts uh, under siege. Uh, no one lives forever. Um, we've got Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots. Try to go for some like, so I get quite a few there. Try to go for some games that I never really see. Uh, we've got Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. All 50p each. Got an Xbox game, got Broken Sword, The Sleeping Dragon. Now I haven't checked any of these drop-ins at all yet. Uh, we've got Soul Calibur 2 on PlayStation 2. We've got Pitfall the Lost The Lost Expedition. And we've got Primal Collection Edition. All 50p each. I thought that was really, really fantastic. Uh, we've got a small iPod Nano, I think. I'm not sure what these ones are called. Uh, the little fat boy ones. Uh, this was like four pounds, I think. And the guys actually tested it for me as well. So fully working, and uh, it doesn't have any battery at the moment, but yeah, it does fully work. And yeah, really awesome. I know these are coming really collectible nowadays, so definitely picking up uh, cheap iPods when I see them. So from boot fair number three now, I've got quite a few pickups too. So we've got these Skylanders. Now, I had a big box of Skylanders that the guy just let me go through, and I'm sure that there were some more in there that were worth good money, but I don't know. I don't know any of these characters, but they're all 50p each. And I know this one's Spyro. Um, yeah, I think there's one more as well, but I can't quite see it at the moment. Uh, and then we've got a bunch of other um, games from the from the third booth. We've got Dragon Age Inquisition. I believe that was two pounds. We've got Skylanders Imaginators. That came with Skylanders. That was a pound. We've got Wally. -E. I think that was 50p, it trades for like four quid, so that was quite good. We've got two copies of Just Dance 2 as well. Now these, um, I think these are 50p each. These used to chop in for good money, I don't think they do any more. I think that's it. Might have a couple more things like, oh yeah, one more game. There is one more game, and that is Final Fantasy X3-2, sealed for the Xbox 360. Now the guy did have a few more sealed games there as well, all five pound each, but this was definitely the best one out of the bunch. So. Yeah, Bank Holiday Boot Fair actually turned out to be quite good in the end, especially with all those PlayStation 5 games and Minecraft in there, all for 30 quid. I thought that was a fantastic deal. If you enjoyed that, hit that like button, consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.